thank you. Meanwhile, victims of Sally continue to wait for any word of government assistance heading their way. Yeah, after the governor's tour just today, she met with elected leaders and the media to brief us on what she saw. That meeting was at the lodge at Gulf State Park. It's one of the few park areas that made it through the storm with minimal damage. Fox News Baldwin County reporter Hal Sherry was there. He's got the latest on what help might be on the way. With the newly renovated and now destroyed Gulf State Park fishing pier as a backdrop, Governor Kay Ivey talked about what she saw today. Fox 10 News drone footage from the affected coastline and rivers shows images similar to what Governor Ivey saw today during her helicopter tour. Some damage worse than other, but hardly a piece of property where Sally didn't leave her mark. It's really bad. I'm sure it could be worse. But what I've seen this morning in the flyover Gulf Shores and Orange Beach and Fort Morgan. It's really, really bad. Ivy said during her flight, she only saw a couple piers or docks that weren't damaged significantly. She said her mission today was to listen to local leaders and hear what the immediate needs are. Ivy encouraged those needing help to stay positive and to know they're not alone. If nothing else, people, please hear this message. The people of Alabama are praying for you. They truly are praying for you. So remember that you're not alone and we stand ready to support you. And I know that I'm not the only one affected by Hurricane Sally, Sally but we stand ready to support you. And not only will we rebuild, but we will rebuild stronger than ever before. For now, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach residents need the very basics, ice, water, and food. Ivy said with the assistance of Congressman Bradley Byrne, those items were pre-staged in Dallas County and will now soon be making their way to the coast. It's been pre-positioned in an old Air Force base in Selma by FEMA before the storm. So the idea was it was a far enough away where that area wouldn't be affected and then that would make it easier for them to bring it down here. But the local officials have to decide where they want it and then communicate to the public. Congressman Bradley Burns says he spoke with White House staff and FEMA today and is working with the governor to get federal relief headed our way. He also says he thinks President Trump will try and visit. As for short term relief, Ivy said local officials are working on setting up distribution points right now for food, ice and water. When she left here, Governor Ivy went to Dauphin Island where she also viewed the damage 